Well, Revolution Pro Wrestling fans, today is the day. It's Uprising 2022 live from York Hall in Bethnal Green, and I am stood here with the owner of Revolution Pro Wrestling, Andy Quilden, and what a fantastic card we have today to round out the year of York Hall events. Absolutely, it's a bit of a calm before the storm at the moment, isn't it? It's crazy to think that in just a, a few hours' time, um, it's going to be filled with the most passionate wrestling fans in the world, and this ring's going to bear witness to some of the most intense and exciting action um, that, the, that these shores have ever seen. I mean, these walls all around us, they could tell some stories, couldn't they? And there are many of them from Revolution Pro Wrestling, and it's something that I'm uh, very proud of, the way we've been able to make Revolution Pro Wrestling into, uh, well, make, uh, make your call a home of Revolution Pro Wrestling. It's known just as much now for those iconic boxing moments as it is for those iconic Revolution Pro Wrestling moments. And that's something that I didn't even dream would be imaginable 10 years ago when we started this film. Absolutely. Some of the biggest moments in the history of Revolution Pro Wrestling have happened in this very building. And I think it's safe to say we're going to create a few more magical moments today. Absolutely. I mean, look up and down the cards. Um, I, you know, it's banger after banger after banger. All killer, no filler, um, as they like to say. Um, and I'm excited. I don't know, you know where, you, where to start or if you want me to start anywhere. You know, this is, this is your deal here. You, know? you tell me. What, what do you want to talk about? Well, we have seven fantastic matches on the card today. Three, if I'm not mistaken, actually four championship matches, don't we? We have, of course, the undisputed British Heavyweight Championship the Southside Women's Championship, the Undisputed British Cruiserweight Championship, and a match I know I'm really looking forward to. It's a street fight for the Undisputed British Tag Team Championships. And that is a rivalry we have seen become incredibly bitter quite quickly here in Revolution Pro Wrestling. Yeah, absolutely. We can take, the, look, there's a lot of business involved in that match when we talk about the Undisputed British Tag Team Championships, but this one is also very, very personal for Sunshine Machine and the Greedy Souls. I'm sure they're gonna be tearing it up all round your call. We've seen a different Sunshine Machine. You saw at Southampton. No happy clappy Sunshine Machine on the way to the ring and that's because greedy souls have got to Sunshine Machine. They've got in their heads, they've got in their psyche that Sunshine Machine wants so badly to win back that goal they feel they never should have lost. Absolutely and also we have quite a few people making their York Hall debuts today and uh, namely I'm thinking of Will Caven making his York Hall debut in the triple threat match for the undisputed British Cruiserweight Championship. Absolutely and it's a huge opportunity for the young man but he's someone who's absolutely grasped uh, every single opportunity he's had. Um, you know he's been an underdog against the likes of Mike Loku, Robbie X, Luke Jacobs etc and he's picked up win after win after win. He's a disruptor and they call him Ruthless Warcaven for a reason. He's going to have to be ruthless in this contest. It's uh, fought under elimination rules. So at the end of tonight, there's going to be no question marks. We've seen them exchange wins between Robbie X, Luke Jacobs, and Will Caven. Um, but like I say, under elimination rules, there's going to be no excuses. At the end of tonight, there's going to be one undisputed British Cruiserweight champion. Many people think this is Robbie X's time. Will Caven's here to ruin the party. And Luke Jacobs, perhaps the single most dominant champion we've ever seen in Revolution. Revolution Pro Wrestling. Absolutely, and a very fitting stipulation to ensure that at the end there is absolutely no qualms with the referee, no qualms with the decision. And of course, uh, as I said, Will Caven making his York Hall debut. Also, we have Danny Luna making her York Hall debut today. And uh, Danny Luna is a competitor that you pinned as someone three years ago that's going to have undoubtedly a huge future in professional wrestling. That was, of course, proven correct. Now that she's back here in Revolution Pro Wrestling, how do you think she'll do today when she takes on Kanji, the champion? Well, listen, I think she's here to make up for lost time. We saw that last weekend in Southampton. Um, she is a very unorthodox competitor in terms of the women's division, a power-based competitor, but really technically precise when we talk about the mat work. Um, but listen, we've seen Kanji, you know, she has got some of the most devastating strikes in the whole of professional Wrestling. We saw that knockout back elbow she gave to Mercedes Blaze at the 229 just a few short weeks ago. Um, we know she's got a point to prove. We know she's determined to cling on to that Southside Women's Championship because she believes she's got a date with Destiny with Alex Windsor. Unfortunately, Destiny keeps having other ideas every time we line that match up. So get well soon, Alex Windsor. But listen, it's going to be one hell of a contest, one hell of a physical contest between Danny Luna and Kanji. 
It certainly is. And uh, moving up along the card as well, we have, of course, the incredibly uh, passionate personal rivalry between Michael Oka and Connor Mills. Now, that is coming to a head here tonight at York Hall, and we've seen some pretty shocking events along the way. We've seen uh, Amir, of course, take a devastating kick to the head, and that only intensified the rivalry. Do you think, do you think the ring is going to be able to contain them tonight? I hope it is, because I hope it's going to be like Michael Oka, who said one and done. Listen, I would have been the, like, the, the guy, you know, I, I, I always try to look at the best in people. You know, I'd have been the guy that thought, you know, these two, they just need to fight it out. Just one time, then they can get back to being friends, get back to doing what they do best, being a tag team, etc., etc. It's gone too far for that. I think Michael Oak has now acknowledged it's gone too far for that. We saw him resist, resist, resist. But this is a different Connor Mills, or is it the same Connor Mills that has been there since day one? Like you say, it's going to be personal. It's a combustible situation. I hope the ring can contain both men. Um, and I'm telling you, it's going to be a completely different contest to the time we saw them compete last time here at York Hall Bethnal Green. What a contest that promises to be. Certainly, certainly. And moving up a card again as well, we have a, a very interesting stipulation for this one. So the undisputed British Heavyweight Championship is on the line. However, Ricky Knight Jr. not medically cleared to compete. So defending on his behalf is Zack Knight and he'll be taking on the undefeated Great O'Khan. That is a match that has come about completely by surprise. So how do you think that affects Ricky Knight Jr.'s ability to maybe hold on to the title without even competing in the ring? I mean, it's a crazy, crazy situation all brought around by the Gideon Gray scheming, the loopholes, etc. He signed a contract on behalf of Great O'Khan saying he's going to get a championship match here tonight. And he said, Ricky Knight Jr., you either need to pick someone else to take your place or you need to hand that championship belt, belt over. Listen, Ricky Knight Jr. didn't want to pick anyone, reluctantly said if it's going to be anyone, it's got to be Zack Knight. Zack Knight, he had a match with Tomohiro Ishii, a huge contest lined up tonight, but he decided family comes first. You know, I'm going to take my family ahead of my own personal career and I'm going to step in there and I'm going to put, I, I, I'm going to defend that championship on behalf of my nephew. And uh, listen, you can bet your bottom dollar that Zack Knight is going to be given every last ounce of energy in his body here tonight against perhaps the most scary opposition he's ever faced. Um, no one's been able to solve the problem of the great O'Card in the UK. Um, we were billing this show as undefeated versus undisputed, um, you know, and, and it was really a big question as to would Ricky Knight Jr. be able to solve that puzzle? And we just shift that question along and say, can Zack Knight solve that puzzle? Huge weight of expectation in Zack Knight's shoulders. How's he gonna cope? Um, you know, how's Ricky Knight Jr. gonna cope? He's gonna be here. How's Gideon Gray gonna cope? You know, this is, uh, it, it's, a, it's a very unknown situation. It's a very unusual situation, but listen, it's going to be a spectacle when those two collide later on for that undisputed British heavyweight championship. And listen, if Zack Knight's victorious, he surely has a claim to that gold. Absolutely. Blood is thicker than water, but will that bond be enough to defend the championship on behalf of his family? And as a result of that match, there has been a slight change to the card. So not only will Zack Knight now be taking on Great O'Khan for the undisputed British Heavyweight Championship. That now means Tomohiro Ishii will be taking on a returning earlier than expected Will Ospreay. How, how great will it be to have Will Ospreay back here in York Hall? Well, listen, Will Ospreay is uh, synonymous with so many great York Hall moments. We all remember when he came down here um, after winning the Best of Super Juniors, a reaction he received, um, you know, um, winning the undisputed British Heavyweight Championship right here, February 2020 against Zack Sabre Jr. Um, it, it was a huge, so many huge nights competing against the, the man they call Vader, you know, in that surreal encounter, right? So, you know, you're called synonymous um, with Revolution Pro Wrestling, which is in turn synonymous with the assassin Will Ospreay. Um, Will Ospreay sees it as his duty to come and step forward, be here tonight. He's spoken so much about the weight of pressure on his shoulders as champion. And I think even though he's no longer champion, he still feels that weight of pressure because when there was a spot on the card, when there was an opening, someone needed to step up. Will Ospreay was at first in line and listen, what more needs to be said? Osprey, Ishii, two of the absolute best in the world, and we get the privilege of seeing it live tonight in London. Um, they've had some absolute bangers before. Will Osprey's absolutely psyched for this one. Ishii's psyched to be back in a Red Pro ring. Two former British heavyweight champions looking to get themselves back in contention. It's going to be one hell of a match. Something's got to give. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for your time today, Andy Quilden. Hey, you missed one, Gio. Oh, no, what I missed? Come on, how can you miss this one? He's rusty, folks. Zack Sabre Jr.
How could we forget? Leon I was Slater. so focused on the Come on. I was so focused Come on, on, on I was so focused on the championship matches. How could I forget a match that and this phrase gets used a lot, folks, but blew up the internet when it was announced. Leon Slater, the man whose name is on everyone's lips, just 18 years of age and being gifted left, right and centre as the future of British wrestling, taking on again a man who returned to wrestling in the UK at Royal Quest, but is now returning to, I'd argue, his spiritual home, York Hall, here in Bethnal Green. Yeah, well, listen, Zack Sabre Jr., another man synonymous with the undisputed British Heavyweight Championship belt. Um, you know, he's defended that belt in Madison Square Garden. He's won it at the Tokyo Dome. One of the flag bearers of Revolution Pro Wrestling. It's so great to be able to welcome Zack Sabre Jr. back in a Rev Pro ring for the first time since February 2020, when the world just went absolutely crazy. And yeah, he's facing what he would say is a young pretender in Leon Slater. Zack Sabre Jr. has been there, he's done that, he's got the t-shirt multiple times. And uh, he's seen people like Leon Slater come and go. And tonight we're going to see Leon Slater as a fly by night. And, uh, you know, I'm telling you, Leon Slater is very much a real deal. It's very rare you see someone so young in the professional wrestling career, so confident, so determined as Slater. Um, and, you know, against Zack Sabre Jr., he's got someone who's not going to back down. He's going to come forward, he's going to push the pace, and he's going to drag him into deep, deep water. Tonight is the night when we find out definitively if Leon Slater really is the future. Can Leon Slater swim when he gets pulled in to that deep, deep water by that anaconda-like grip of Zack Sabre Jr.? I'm telling you, we're going to find a lot out about Slater tonight because stylistically he's never fought anyone quite like the technical wizard. It's going to be one hell of a spectacle. I've said that multiple times since we've been stood here, but hey, at least I never missed any matches. And I'm telling you, I am absolutely buzzed. Um, listen, we're going to do our best we can to stream this live on RevProOnDemand.com. Um, it's a seven-day free trial if you get yourself signed up. Um, I had to throw that in in case you forgot that part as well. But, um, but it's going to be great. So RevProOnDemand.com, um, assuming that watching this means you can't make it. Um, like I say, just, uh, you know, hopefully all things will go well with the stream. If they don't, then obviously um, we'll have a lower quality version. It'll be available an hour after the show. Full quality version should be up tomorrow evening. Um, I'm telling you, Uprising 2022, like everything may be against us. You know, the elements may be against us, the, the rail strikes may be against us, but all the stars of Revolution Pro Wrestling are coming, they're going to deliver pro wrestling at its best, and it's nights like this that, it, that, that we all live for, we all live our, our professional wrestling careers, lives, fandoms for, because this one's going to be special. Absolutely, I think a lot of people just live their lives wondering when the next York Hall is going to be and just living in between those moments. We have the best fans in the world, we have the best roster in the world, and that is why Uprising 22, live from York Hall, is going to be absolutely do not miss. From myself, Giovanni Giorgio, and Andy Corden, thank you so much for joining us for this special RevPro presentation, and don't miss Uprising 2022.